Hi boys and girls, it's Mrs. Hansen. I'm here to teach you a math lesson today about part, part, whole. If we take two parts of something and put them together, say we take two parts of a cake, two layers, we put them together, we have the whole cake. We cut our pizza in half. We have half our pizza plus the other half our pizza. We put them back together. We then have a whole pizza. We're gonna be doing the same thing today with red and yellow tiles and putting them together to create new math equations. In my first slide, you'll notice that I'm keeping my red and yellow tiles off to the side of my mat so that I can use them to build on my part, part, whole mat. So I've moved three red tiles over and put them in one of my part sections. Now I've gone and I've counted those three reds and I've written the number three. We know we need an addition symbol because we talked about putting things together. And when we're putting things together, we're adding them. Just like you'd add ingredients in a recipe, you're adding numbers together. We're going to take four yellow tiles. We've moved these over. One, two, three, four. So then we needed to write the number four as the second part of our equation. Now we have our two parts. We have three plus four. Four. Now our job is going to be to pull both of those parts down into the whole block and count them all together. So if we've done that, we come up with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we're writing the number seven as the sum of our equation or number sentence. And we finish up this activity with three plus four equals seven. Now we're going to try this again with a different set of numbers. I start with my red tiles first, and I've decided to move one, two, three, four, five red tiles into my part. I've written the number five down here. And again, I need my plus symbol in the circle. And I've added my yellow tiles. I took them from the edge, moved them over. I moved one, two, three, four. What do you think I'm going to do next? I hope you know. That's right. I needed to write the four as the second number or add in in my equation. So right now we have five, and we put a five down here, plus four yellows. Hmm. Now we have to figure out the sum. Remember, our job is going to be to pull both parts down into the whole box and count them again. So we pulled all of them down, and we're going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And you'll notice that Mrs. Hansen touches each circle as I count it. So we needed to add an equal sign and our sum or our answer of nine. Good job, boys and girls. Let's try to move on to one more practice one before you work on your own. Listen carefully. Oh, we've got our red tiles in place. Let's see, how many did we put in the first part? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, great. I wrote the number six down, and then I didn't forget my plus or addition symbol. Let's see how many yellow tiles I used this time. One, two, three, four, five. 
what do you think my second number is going to be? I hope you all said five. There we go. Now, what symbol comes next? Remember, we're writing an equation and we need to know the answer or sum. So we pulled both of our parts down. We're going to count them all together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We put our equal sign in there, boys and girls, and our answer is eleven. Okay, so we've worked on part, part, whole. I showed you how you need to build one part to match your first number. You need to build the second part to match your second number or add in in your equation. Then remember that our job is going to be to physically pull those tiles down to our whole block, count them all together, red and yellow, in order to get our sum. Good luck as you practice on your own. Remember to touch each tile as you count carefully and make sure to write your numbers so they're not walking backwards. Good luck, everybody.